Hello learners, welcome to this session on staging events. In this session, you will learn about the event design, you will learn about the theme, how to create theme about uh, an event, how to do the stage in different kind of prospects. Like staging have different kind of uh, thing, different kind of elements which need to be taken care. So that we'll go through uh, in this session. Uh, but first of all, I'll just uh, to briefly tell about myself, my intro. I'm uh, Manish Agarwal. I'm industry expert in event management and I'm into event design and planning and I'm associated with many big events like uh, India Art Fair, Comic Con, India Fashion Week, uh, India Design and uh, lots of uh, high-end weddings also and lots of corporate events, lots of NGO events, lots of social events. So this is what uh, I've done and I'm into it and I'm also uh, course leader uh, in Pearl Academy, School of Contemporary Media, uh, New Delhi, and I'm taking event uh, management as a subject. So we'll just go through uh, uh, the lesson as per our subject. So I'm sharing the screen. Uh, so we'll just go through. So this is like staging events, staging introduction and elements. So we'll just go through these elements. What are these? What are the main aspects? What are the main prospects we should know? So these are very important things we need to know. And these are like staging. What is a staging? Staging is a theatrical concept originating from the presentation of plays at the theater. What it means? Very simple thing if you say, it's like uh, the theaters, when theater used to happen, theater started from uh, nicks and uh, corners of the streets. St uh, theater started uh, in many, many cities in bygone eras. But you know, when theater came to uh, the proper place, proper auditoriums uh, being made up, proper setters being made up. So uh, the requirement for the staging came up. And when the requirement for the staging came up, what it means? It means we need to create them aesthetically. We need to create them in a creative manner, which is very, very important. And uh, so uh, the need for theme design came into existence. Yes, uh, we, we really need uh, the kind of theme for any kind of production, any kind of event, any kind of stage theatrical, which is really important. And uh, in event staging, all the elements of event production are brought together in coordination for presentation before the audience. So audience is a main thing for even for any kind of stage shows, any kind of theater, any kind of concert. So we need to uh, know uh, what we are presenting and what is the coordination between the event production and the audience, which is very, very important. And that there should be an amalgamation between both. So event staging uh, aspect for that is really important uh, to have a connection between the audience. And staging incorporates all aspects of the event that enable the performance to go ahead and enhances the customer's experience. So what it means, it means customer experience. Customer experience is the most important part and the integral part for any kind of event. Customer experience is must. What an audience is experienced whenever he or she is at the Audi uh, watching your events or watching your plays, watching your theater. So that experience, we need to get uh, that thing into them so that they experience what exactly they want to see. So that is an, another important integral part. It applies to the layout of the venue or event site and also what it is to be performed on stage. So yes, venue is very important for any kind of event. What kind of venue? Is it a big venue, small venue? What kind of people are coming? How many people are coming to the venue, which we'll discuss later uh, in this presentation. But yes, venue, uh, again, I'll say it's a very important part. Uh, where the venue is located, how the venue is feasible, is venue good, is venue bad, is it connected or not. So we'll just discuss it later on uh, in the presentation when we come to it. So this is an important part. So uh, the elements that are on concern to staging include there are many elements for the staging which are like theming and event design. So I'll just take you what theming and event design means. Theming and event design means whenever you create an event, uh, there should be a theme to it, there should be a concept to it. So without theme, without concept, uh, there's no use of creating a creating an event because what is an event? What is a, uh, uh, the kind of shows we do? It's, it's just an experience. If one comes to your event, comes to your site, 
one should experience that thing because we create dreamlands. The, the person, there's a dream of everybody, but about an event because whenever they're coming to to the site, to the event, to see see that they have a different kind of uh, prospects in their mind. And if you are able to fulfill that, then okay, you are doing a beautiful event. So the theming is very important, uh, and uh, the theming means you are designing an event. Event design means you are designing the entire event. The designing means. Uh, the entire event design means like you are creating uh, the design for the event logos, you are creating the collateral for an event, you are creating the stage, you are creating entrance, you are creating exit, you are creating the entire look and feel of the event that is important. Then as we discussed, choosing the venue event side again a very important and integral part of any kind of event, what kind of venue or uh, event is happening, where is it happening exactly, far of the city, in the city, or in your country, in different country, or like a low level land or a high level land. So this is all uh, depend uh, what kind of event you're doing. Then the audience and guest, another important part, audience is very important for any kind of event. Without audience, no event. So uh, we, we, we should have definitely an audience for in any event, what kind of audience, again, audience depend on what kind of event we are doing. Is it uh, again a corporate or wedding or a concert or a theater? Then the guest list uh, for any event has to be good. Uh, we should have a nice guest coming to our event so that we have a good profile for our event. Then the stage, stage is simple, but what do you mean by stage? Stage is basically where the event is happening, where the entire performance, uh, entire presentations, entire everything of the event is happening on the stage. Then comes power, lights and sound. So power, lights and sound means like the power. Power is the, the backup the, uh, on which your event is running. The electrical uh, things on which your event is running. Light and sound, the kind of lights you are having for an event and the sound. It has to be perfect. It has to match with your event. It has to go with the creative essence of your event. Again, uh, we come to audiovisual and special effects, which is uh, again that audiovisual is why it is important for any kind of event because if there are any corporate events, so uh, the company want to present their uh, company profile. If there is singer is coming to your event, so they, they need uh, the kind of technical things for their band to play on your event. So audio is very important, and the audiovisual mix like with LED screens nowadays coming off. Uh, different special effects we are having nowadays. So special effects are really bringing an event up to the next level. So that is uh, really important. So that next level event uh, we are seeing nowadays and uh, it has become a main essence of uh, the event management and, and staging. And uh, then if we come further, so there are many other criteria for uh, the event staging. So uh, they are catering. Catering means like the kind of uh, food you, you, you have kept in your event. Uh, what is a menu? Uh, how many people? And it all depends how many people are coming to your venue. So you have to cater your, so, and the catering means are you catering your uh, client for the event? Are you catering your crew for the event? Are you catering your exhibitors, your partners? Uh, so that is a different thing. But if an event, if it's a corporate event, so we have to see uh, what kind of catering is happening in a banquet hall, how many people are need to be catered, what kind of food is there, what kind of pricing for the food is there. So we need to take care of the hygiene of the place also regarding the food. So which is really, really important. And then come the performers, performers, the people who perform in the event basically and um, uh, what kind of performance uh, it's a dance performance it's like a stand-up comedy show it's like a talk show okay or it's like a singer are coming to perform it's like a band which is performing so we, we need to know what kind of performers are there for it even and the performers are very very important part and again i'm saying uh, again in the, in the integral part why because everything is an integral part of the event even means amalgamation of all these things which we are discussing in our presentation in this lesson so uh, we need to take care of all the things and uh, again the foremost uh, important part is the crew hospitality crew hospitality is again uh, you know very important why because hospitality is always important for any kind of event the hospitality cater the people coming to your event or if you go somewhere how you are being catered by them or how you cater others at your event so 
and this is really important then the production schedule so production schedule is very 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 important for all of us because this is the only thing which we create for an event our event entire event runs on production schedule production schedule means the timelines okay the timelines of your event from when the event is starting from when the production is starting and when the event is ending how your event is has to take place uh, when the event has started what are the other timelines are there on the event day uh, day by day schedule has to be made so many people uh, don't do this kind of scheduling and they lack their event goes bad if they don't do a good production schedule so good production schedule is always always important for you so uh, whenever you make a production schedule you should know exactly uh, your timelines you should know exactly how your event is you should know exactly how the creative part is happening you should know exactly what kind of performers are coming what is your timeline what your client wants so you need so you uh, create production schedule according to that then come to calling the events so or recording the event is important again and why it is important because whenever uh, event has to be recorded because every time clients want that recording from you many times people do a mistake they don't record an event and then if the client want is a, it's a bad thing for your organization that you don't have a recording for an event but hardly it happens uh, but mostly now every event is getting recorded and the main important part for recording event is that because it becomes your own goodwill so because that becomes your event to show if you are do uh, do the recording how you show the event to other people so that is really important to show the event to the people so again uh, recording the entire event as per your presentation as per your entire performances as per your entire speeches as per your entire people coming to your event so it is very very important to have a recording of the event don't ever miss that so as we move further uh, in staging uh, event and theme design so here in front of you is a is a theme uh, for an event which is created in a sketch mode and it is a very initial part uh, of theming because uh, this is uh, a kind of uh, a brief uh, we got from a client and it was a client uh, gave us like indo french theme we uh, uh, told them okay we'll do uh, it in a indo french theme because uh, the client was a french and they, they have a collaboration indian collaboration so we have created something like uh, indo french skyline in which we can see uh, the skyline of france we can see the skyline of india and in the middle of it we have a big a huge led wall in which the presentations and other performance uh, will be seen during the event before the event uh, so this is very important part to design and do the thematic part of an event again and uh, we'll move uh, further there's another design you can see here it's it's an option whenever we go uh, to a client or whenever we do a th theme design for any kind of stage we should always go for an option so that option is very very important why option because uh, many times clients say okay one we are not able to understand so if you have many options so uh, yes uh, your client say okay for uh, dear this is looking good so we can go uh, with this option so we can uh, finalize on this and increase on uh, this kind of uh, layout what you have done so these kind of layouts are really important going with the initial sketches going with the initial pencil sketch or a draft for it even so as you can see in this uh, layout 1665 to 2015 so it's 350 years of a uh, orphan organization which we have shown here in like uh, different parts of the staging you can see in front there's a stage there's a backdrop to it there's a side walls to it and there's a led screen to it so this is uh, how and uh, what we created an interesting part is glass wall with etching because uh, this uh, Theme we have designed for the company who are into making of glass. So if we are making uh, the company is making glass, we, we thought we do something related to glass. So we created this wall which is being etched. Uh, so that is a glass wall which is being etched. So okay. So we move further. So as we discuss about all the criteria before in a presentation, so we move further. So like all these elements give a physical environment to the even performance and create an impression on the audience. So all the elements which we have discussed, which we, uh, we have taken for an event, 
so this is a physical environment. What do you mean by physical environment? Is this is present in front of us. So this is existing. So that uh, makes uh, the event performance more uh, valuable. It gives a great impression to the audience. The audience who are watching an event. So that we need to uh, leave an exp expression and impression that is very important. As we discussed, the audience experience. The audience experience is very important for it. Any any kind of event, the event manager uses these elements in an innovative and artistic manner to manipulate the moods of the audience. So yes, as an event manager, we use different moods, different uh, very creative and innovative ideas to uh, swing the moods of an audience so that they feel uh, themselves into an event and become a part of it. Then all the elements concerning staging, you know, hold the same level of importance. Different types of events. Yes, so there are many many uh, kind of uh, important thing which are there in staging sometimes they don't uh, have some kind of importance to it but it all depends kind of events we, we are having the kind of event we have planned this means the type of an event determines the relative importance of each of these elements so many elements like as we discuss about the catering part if you uh, go back to the slide we have discussed catering so catering goes to many many things like catering is for the event also but catering comes when uh, they are having lots of uh, many kinds of food events which we are having nowadays so the catering plays a vital role in that so definition of catering becomes different so uh, this is it so catering uh, is very very important again and the aspect of that so, so things change accordingly as per the requirements so for instance in free uh, events, the importance of hospitality is relatively less with respect to the importance of special things. So what do you mean by uh, free events? Free events is like where there is no tickets, people can come, people can be a part of it anytime. So, you know, why hospitality is not important there? Because you can't cater so many people. There are thousands of people coming to, to, to that event. It's only we have to take care of the uh, uh, organizing part of it, uh, the movement of the crowd part of it, hygiene part of it, the kind of permissions part of it, so they, they are the important integral part of it. But taking care of the hospital, each and every guy coming to an event of this large scale event is not uh, so easy and uh, which is not required actually. But you know, there are many events which are held like they are very uh, high at event, like the fashion uh, weeks happen, like the art shows happen on a large scale. So where the, the hospitality part is really, really important, we need to get, take care of the hospitality of the people coming to the, because it got a different people with different pros, prospects. So that is really, really important. Then the important respect to the important special effects, why we are saying this, because special effects, when it's a pretty uh, nice event happening, uh, something like that, the crowd, special effects plays a vital role in that because there's a people who can see, there's a vast number of people who want to see those special effects. So this is what uh, this means. Then also the importance of particular staging element changes according to the type of the event. For example, hospitality and catering become significant during corporate events and conferences. Very true. So when uh, corporate events happen or the conferences happen, so uh, this hospitality and catering part is really really important why because you know we have the people like the ceos of the companies we have the bbs coming politicians are coming industrialists coming uh, in that event and yes there, there must be many celebrities who are coming for that event so uh, hospitality which is the foremost part of any event so plays a vital role here then the catering what kind of food we are offering what kind of uh, drinks we are offering uh, offering to the people coming uh, to our event. So all these corporate events and conferences are really uh, important uh, for these kind of things. And when uh, we have these corporate events and conferences, so we have a different set of people coming to an, and with different set of people, we have a different kind of venue also. So that is again, uh, a very uh, important and very interesting thing, which uh, we, we need to know in staging events. So when we come to theming and event design, so what it means, the foremost thing in staging an event is deciding for the theme as I told you earlier also. So deciding the theme for an event is again an important part of it. Deciding the theme is okay, but getting it approved from the client is very, very important. If you don't get it approved from the client, if you say, okay, I'll do as per my own wish, as an event manager, so that doesn't work. So deciding on the theme, getting it approved, and work according uh, 
as per the approvals is very very important and it is a major creative artistic and innovative decision to determine what the theme is so determining the theme in an innovative and creative way is uh, a very important uh, part of your event and whenever you go for these kind of themes it has to be very very creative so that when somebody is coming there and watching your event so as i uh, spoke earlier also about the experience that experience need to be there so experience sharing experiencing an event is very very important then the remaining other elements such as catering venue audio visual special effects seating arrangement decoration performance are designed or created to fit in with the theme so everything has to be fit in the theme and many times it happens we do many many events like a thematic event so if you are doing something like a indo french theme indo thai theme so yes if we have an, a fusion of an indo french food the indo thai food it really works it really uh, your uh, audience or your guest feels really good about it so thematic things is in everything even your audio visual even your special effects even your entire setup so that is really really important so we need to take care of that also then uh, you can see a small uh, uh, layout here staging elements revolving around the theme so this means uh, we have a theme in the center whatever the theme is our venue is according to that audio visual and special effects are according to that then the catering then the artist entertainment and speakers Uh, props and decoration and sound and light. So theme, according to theme, everything revolves, which is uh, very interesting actually. Whatever theme we decide, so many times what we do, uh, if we decide on a theme, uh, the thing come okay, we'll take this kind of venue. So that venue will really suit our theme. Then everything comes into under one umbrella. Then we start designing the props, we start designing the decor according to our theme. We call artists. what kind of artists will come to entertain people then what kind of sound and light and what kind of catering catering what kind of food so that is also according to the theme if you are having a theme called like supposedly we do a theme on a mela theme or a very indianized theme or a rajasthani theme so yes we will be uh, in catering what what we required a proper indian food or a rajasthani theme themed food so that is really important and if as i told you earlier also indo french and indo thai so same thing happens so everything revolves around our theme so uh, the event can be of any type or nature but once the theme for the event is established rest of the activities even production take shape accordingly so what it means it means that there are many kind of event like the fashion shows are here the art shows are there or a show like comic con we do it's very that caters to the young breed so many young people from the college from the school and even the degrees come to that even and they just enjoy so uh, it got a very different kind of uh, thematic aspect so that theme whenever we design the theme the entire event takes shape accordingly what kind of branding we are having what kind of entry we are having what kind of entire setup we are having whom we are calling to an event so it comes under one roof so that is uh, how it takes shape Uh, and then for instance and even theming medieval india will have decoration food catering hospitality entertainers sound and special effects of the medieval period complementing the theme of the event i told you earlier also so same like the medieval india theme will have uh, the same uh, the decoration related to that food catering hospitality related to that and obviously the entertainers sound and special effects all should complement each other as per the theme which is really really important so we need to take care of that all those things so that our event goes flawless and even becomes a very creative part then in many activation experiential marketing events nowadays a thematic zone with a demo zone is created uh, which is a simple example like uh, experiential uh, marketing are happening so that the customer comes there and he can or she can experience the product supposedly an iphone or a watch gadget is there so one can go and feel and see take that iphone in the hand and you can see uh, or some any kind of gadget is uh, getting promoted so this is becoming a very important aspect that's experiential marketing nowadays is becoming a very important part of any kind of thing and, and that also has to be thematic people are creating demo zones for that and many people come look and have a feel of that even how that will uh, look in their hand or how it goes with their attitude with their own personalities 
so and, and the customer can really uh, try those uh, product there so uh, thus it will uh, not be wrong to say that all the elements work in close relation to each other in a around the themes so of all the elements as we say revolve around the theme as we have seen that diagram in which we have seen the theme and everything are revolving around that so that is again very important so here you can see uh, some layouts we have done for an event this is just a 3d layout with led screen with stage setup with seating so this is an option so this we have tried the option then you can see another uh, layout this is a second option as i told you when you go for a presentation we should have options so those options are really really important for us always so we need to take care we need to draw those options we need to have uh, a creative mindset for creating all these things so very very important again then we move further so you can see the exact setup as per our theme created this is an exact picture of the show happen here for evolve uh, you can see and these are some effects uh, you can see uh, in the slide and as we move further these are some more special effects as per the lighting as per the audio visual techniques and we can see the kind of rays coming from top of the truss and falling on the stage so this is a very good example of thematic design and uh, again we come to choosing the venue event site so event purpose and finalization of theme opens out options for the selection of venue in fact sometimes the venue becomes an obvious part of the theme of the event as i asked mm -hmm. as we spoke earlier about the venue venue is again important part why venue so venue or any kind of event site is important uh, if the venue is far off then people won't come much people won't come to your event so if the venue is well located it's in the center of the city it's been very much uh, hygienically uh, done it's been sanitized it's been taken care by the local authorities like police traffic or the top level people and and uh, and the most important part the venue is it has to be connected with your public transport the metro is coming there it is connected with other it, it has been uh, connected with the local taxis and all and uh, again uh, the roads to your venue has to be clean has to be well lighted has to be proper there is no hooliganism at that uh, place so we need to take care of all those things this is really really important so uh, setting up a venue one of the foremost thing or any event if the venue is not there so no event can happen no? so venue is very very important when you choose a venue you go then you go for a theme or many times it happens you decide a theme then according to your theme you choose a venue so your venue could be outdoor indoor you create your own venue through different parts okay so this is how uh, the events are being done nowadays and uh, selection of venue is actually a critical component in event staging as it will affect the layout and performance of other elements of event staging so selection of venue as i told you is a critical component is a very integral part so that uh, you can come to your venue you should have a nice uh, coverage for your venue you should have nice people coming to your venue so again an important part of that so uh, we should know the venue how the event has to be taken so uh, i hope uh, this must have got you in some understanding about the uh, stage uh, uh, design stage themes and how the you can uh, create uh, the thematic design to your event and why this stage theme stage design is very important to you and for any kind of e event so uh, i hope uh, this lesson gives you a great insight thank you mm -hmm.